Every day, millions of people worldwide choose to incorporate whey protein into their diets as a quick and easy meal replacement on the go. The popularity of protein continues to grow as protein powder brings in over $26 billion in revenue each year. I love protein. I know you love protein. I love protein too. Yeah, protein rocks. This supplement is derived from cow's milk and undergoes extensive processes in factories to transform into high-quality protein powder. But what goes into the production of more than 10,000 bottles of whey protein every day? Let's dive into the manufacturing process of whey protein and uncover the intricacies that make it one of the industry's most popular supplements. Whey protein is sourced specifically from the liquid part of cow's milk that separates during cheese production. Historically viewed as an unwanted byproduct, whey has undergone a transformation from an environmental concern during disposal to being recognized for its nutritional value. The journey begins on dairy farms, where cows are selectively bred and cared for to ensure optimal milk production. You may have heard the old saying, happy wife, happy life. Well, the same approach is taken on farms. Happy and healthy cows are believed to produce high quality milk, the first crucial step in crafting a superior protein supplement. An average dairy cow produces approximately 30 liters of milk per day, with 19% of the protein content being whey protein. Milking, typically done twice a day using automated machines, extracts the milk, rich in proteins, fats, carbohydrates, and minerals. The harvested milk is temporarily stored in refrigerated tanks to preserve its freshness and prevent contamination. Each day, the fresh milk is transported to local cheese factories using refrigerated transport to maintain its quality. Multiple checks are conducted to ensure the milk meets the standard quality. If a taste tester identifies that the milk has been spoiled, the entire batch must be discarded. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, otherwise the next batch of milk that goes through taste testing will be bad. And nothing ruins a day at the job like spoiled milk. On the other hand, if the milk meets the required standards, it undergoes pasteurization, a process where it is heated to eliminate harmful bacteria and then rapidly cooled to maintain its quality. The pasteurized milk is then transported to a specialized processing unit designed for separating its components. The mechanical separation process involves adding a coagulant to the milk, leading to the formation of solid curds and the remaining liquid known as whey. This whey compound contains concentrated proteins and other soluble components separated from the curd. In cheese factories, the curd is used for fresh cheese, while the whey is directed to a second line of business. Filtration, typically using physical methods, is employed to separate the curd from the whey, rich in whey protein. This phase is crucial for obtaining the desired protein component, forming the basis for whey protein. If you are familiar with protein powder, you know how calorie-friendly the supplement is, making it a staple in a weight loss journey. Take a look at a typical label, low calorie, but high in protein. The issue is at this stage in the production process, the whey fraction may contain small amounts of unwanted fats and minerals, leading some processing facilities to use additional purification steps such as microfiltration and crossflow filtration, refining the whey protein fraction for a purer end product. After filtration, the whey undergoes an evaporation process to remove excess water, carefully controlled to avoid damaging the proteins present. The temperature is kept relatively low to preserve protein quality. Following evaporation, the concentrated liquid whey fraction undergoes a drying process, introducing hot and cold air to transform it into a powder with minimal residual moisture. The resulting powder is sieved to remove larger particles, mixed for uniformity, and then packaged in sacks for sale. The journey continues at the world's largest protein factory, which operates each and every hour of the day, processing several hundred tons of whey protein daily in a vast warehouse. Thousands of sacks of whey protein powder arrive daily, moving through the weighing room, where all raw materials are carefully measured and sieved. The whey protein powder is transported to the mixing area, where various flavors are added to give each product its unique taste. After mixing, an automatic filling machine precisely fills containers with the appropriate amount of protein powder, using a vacuum hose to transfer the protein from the sacks. If you are putting the pieces of the puzzle together, you may have noticed that the same foundational protein powder is used for various different brands protein. Only difference is the additives combined with the powder. Same ingredients, but a wide range in the price of the end product. 
Now let's get back to the production process. Filling is done meticulously to ensure each container contains the specified amount of whey protein powder. After filling, each container undergoes a weighing process to verify the correct protein content, advancing to the next stage where a worker places a measuring spoon in each container and securely closes the corresponding lid. Visual quality control is performed to ensure the product's correctness and absence of visible contaminants. Each container is then labeled with essential information, including the product's name, nutritional details, usage instructions, expiration date, and batch number. Once labeling is complete, an employee inserts a plastic ring into the lid of each container. The containers move to a heat sealing machine, where the plastic rings are sealed with heat to ensure a tight and precise seal. The filled and verified containers are then boxed for convenient transportation and distribution. This comprehensive process ensures the production of high-quality whey protein products, meeting the demands of health-conscious consumers worldwide. And that's how protein powder is made. If you learned something new today, please do us a favor. Either share this video with someone who might enjoy it or subscribe to the channel so we can keep making content for you. Or else we're sending this guy to get you. Yo! What you doing, man? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.